Hey folks, man, this is Monk, and we are back with another episode of From the Canopy Film Show. Join as always my co-host, we got Cornelius, aka Evil Corner. What's up? Yeah, and uh, Bobby Rockbuster, he's out today, man, so hopefully, you know, we're going to catch him next time. But um, this is going to be a reviews-only episode. Um, we did get a bunch of films that came out last week, so we're going to take some time to talk to y'all about them and give you our impressions of them. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I think you're going to like what we do here today. So um, I guess I'm going to get it started today. Um, I did see a film called The Invitation. Uh, Bobby Blockbuster did uh, talk about this trailer a while back. And the story um, has a, does have an interesting premise, I will say that. After the death of her mother and having no other known relatives, a woman named Evie takes a DNA test and discovers a long-lost cousin she never knew she had. Invited by her newfound family to a lavish wedding in the English countryside, Evie's um, at first uh, seduced by the sexy aristocratic host. However, she's soon thrust into a nightmare of survival as she uncovers twisted secrets about her family history and the unsettling intentions behind her their sinful um, generosity. And um, this thing stars uh, Natalie Emanuel. She's the uh, main uh, character, the um, uh, the DNA um Discoverer, and then we also get Thomas Doherty, Stephanie uh, Cornelius. <laughs> no. I always thought her name was interesting because my sister's first name is Stephanie, and my name's Cornelius. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I thought that was a weird, you know, mm -hmm. I, I just thought that was kind of weird for somebody to have a name like that, you know. Yeah, that is wild, man. Uh, we do get Alana Bolden, um, Hugh Skinner, um, Sean Pertwee. Um, Elizabeth Council, and I guess those will be about the mains, but but they mostly make up the um, aristocratic um, family um, of this woman. I will say this, man, uh, for it to be what it was, like I said, the, the premise was pretty interesting, but the thing about it, um, I think it just played out rather uh, mediocre. <laughs> you know, it was kind of mediocre. Okay. Um, I, I, I kind of also predicted, you know, the, the, what was going on. I mean, they kind of give away a lot in the trailer, but even I think knowing that doesn't, you know, take away from how this films unfold. It's just rather, um, you know, bland in, in the unraveling of the story, man. I feel like I've seen this movie before a couple times already, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of a, um, you know, the setup kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that one um, that came out a couple years ago with Samar Weaven? She gets married into this family, but she has to go. Oh, ready or not. Yeah, similar kind of setup, but it just plays out a little differently. But but there were no surprises, man. Like, um, it is well acted. Um, it's well filmed. It definitely looks good. They, they have all this, you know, lo locations. Basically, it's taking a uh, place in this rich estate, um, pretty much like a castle, you know, that kind of, you know, thing. And um, so you so you get those sights and sounds, there's banquets and feasts and wardrobe and all that. But I just thought the way it unfolded was just rather flat, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't see a whole lot of people getting a whole lot of joy out of this film unless you're just really into, um, you know, aristocrats or the idea of this young woman who's coming from, you know, what they would call a common origins you know, suddenly being thrust into this kind of royal, uh, rich, uh, prestigious environment, you know, and, and, and I think that could be magical. I think a lot of uh, people had that fantasy marrying into royalty, you know, or into a wealthy family. And, yeah, but the, the spooky stuff, it, it, it like I said, it, it, it's well done, but for some reason, it's just missing a pack of a punch, you know? Oh, okay. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I um, I think I might have told y'all when I first saw the trailer, uh, mm -hmm. everything looked like it was just real predictable. Yeah. Um, ready or not, I kind of remember thinking about the same thing about that trailer, but at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, because that trailer told you the premise of what was happening in it. Mm -hmm. But that poop, that film is fucking fun. You know, yeah. Ready or yeah. Not is a fun film. Mm -hmm. and, and I think from this trailer, it looked like it might have been taking itself a little too serious. With the mm -hmm. material, um, I hadn't seen the film yet. All right, you it say does, you might have saved me all that bullet, Corey. It does because I think it would have probably um, used. Um, they're, they're playing it straight, and I think maybe if they did try to amp it up a little bit with maybe with some humor 
or just leaned into the to the more absurd aspects of it. It probably could have had a, a bigger punch and maybe even edited down a little bit too, man. Because I mean, you know, there is like I said, the idea of the romance. She's falling for the the, the man of the estate, who of course happens to not be related to her, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, like it's, 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 I don't know, man. It's, it's just kind of goofy, man. But, but like you said, I think it did take itself too seriously. It's played too straight. And it's about 10, 15 minutes too long. Okay. Like it's, it's not one that I don't think you've got to rush out to see it in the theater. If you do have it on your radar and if my words aren't discouraged, you just wait for it to come home. Like it, there's no deep mystery. There's not layers of pill back, which I think. That would have been the payoff, you know what I'm saying? But sitting through this, if you did get this crazy shock ending, or you know, or if it unfolded in a unique way, you know, give me some more. Like it's just kind of you know playing with a little bit of who done it, you know, throw some some little knives out stuff in there, you know, like. But it is basic.